what you need to do is to first to know where you are mm -hmm. you have to get two anatomical structures the relationship of those two anatomical structures you should know in your head yes so for the in the thorax the two structures are going to be heart and lung yep. okay if your probe is only over the heart you should not see any part or any part of the lung whatsoever yes on the other hand if you're able to see heart and lung in the same view it means part of the probe is over the heart and part of the probe is over the lung mm -hmm. if you're not able to see the heart at all then you have to see can you can you can you actually see any recognizable structure and yes. usually that recognizable structure is going ribs to be the lungs, lungs ribs yes. and lungs yes. and if you are able to see again if you are able to see two different structures that you can work out the anatomical relationship you can move your probe accordingly yes. but if not just move the probe in a systematic manner towards where you think the heart is likely to be till you hit the heart yes in this instance okay the next thing is you have to also know the anatomy the anatomical relationship of the screen and the probe yes. so here parasternal long axis your probe is facing the right, right shoulder which means this here is the right shoulder yes. this is going to be the left. oh sorry the um, left. apex towards the apex okay left towards hip. the apex or the left hip okay so now this part does it have the heart or the lung uh we've got some lung coming in Okay, so lung is at the extreme edge, maybe. Okay, I, can't, I, I don't know actually because I'm not able to see the pleural sliding here, but no. maybe there is. Okay, the middle of the probe seems to be somewhere over the heart. Yes. Okay, and then the left hip part of the probe, the anti-probe marker side, is having, what is that? Uh, so there's, there's interference as well. So, well, it, it's obscured, especially with by inspiration, what? so by lung or rib. Yeah. So that's a black shadow, rib, an acoustic bed. shadow. That's the lung. Right. That's the uh, that's your rib. Yeah. And this part here, got some pleural slide you have there. some pleura. Yeah. So that tells you now that if you keep the probe this way, yeah. okay, which part of the probe is over the lung and which part of the probe is towards the heart? The probe marker side is my tip here, and the and the my wrist is going to be the anti-probe marker side or the left hip side yes so when you're keeping the probe therefore your anti-probe marker is yes. which part is over the lung uh, more the anti-probe okay so what do you mean what do you have to do then so you come towards the so start walking gently yeah. towards the probe marker side which means yeah. towards the right shoulder yes. side so doing that yes okay keep going till your probe is only over the heart yes. and your lung the lung here has completely gone okay that's number one now while you're doing that you find that the other side now is beginning to have so the probe marker side is having and now we're getting lung a, a little bit of side. lung yeah. again work out the anatomical relationship yes. now if this is the heart the lung is going to be superior and lateral to the heart not inferior okay so if you're having lung somewhere here it means that maybe your orientation is in such a way that you're getting the superior part yes. of the lung okay yes. so now so what so you can do is now let's see Sorry. what i'm just go superiorly and inferiorly till you lose this part of the lung space good because if the superior part of the probe is now hitting the lung it means that maybe you have to walk down to the inferior space yes. and if you did that potentially you will get no lung interference whatsoever and your probe will be entirely over the heart so you're getting there okay you have you can see a little bit of rib here which is fine because everywhere you are going to have an atomic uh, the rib shadow okay now just see here you've come all the way down and there's no space because of his gown yes so that's a reversible structure yeah now, the plastic the, the cast you can't really the the sling you can't really do much about yeah you can see whether you can 
manipulate your probe gently so it doesn't actually cause him to have much harm. Good. Okay. So now you don't. Do you have lung on this side now? No. Okay. Do you have lung on this side now? No. So you're you're predominantly over the heart. Yeah. And now just indent the the probe on the skin, up and down, medial lateral and then manipulate it in such a way that you get a better acoustic window because I think you're actually getting a, good, a reasonable parasternal yeah, yeah. light. But the contrast is not great. The gray-white differentiation yeah, is not great. Of, uh, contact with the gel as well. Okay. Has that improved things? That's improved it. Exactly. Yeah. So that's all. Okay. First step. Start where you do not expect the heart to be. Yeah. Or in, in this instance, the yeah. heart, but anyway, anywhere, start where you do not expect your structure of interest to be. You search for that structure of interest. If it's a gallbladder scan, if it's a vascular scan, deliberately go to a point where you don't expect it to be. Okay. Yeah. Then work your way towards that structure. So yes. in the heart, you know that the heart is likely to be somewhere in the left side of the precordium. Yeah. Okay, so the, for the parasternal long axis, start high near the clavicle in the parasternal space and slowly, gently just keep start, slowly keep going interspace by interspace inferiorly. And then for, when you keep the probe, ask yourself, where are you? Yes. Ideally, in the first instance, you will only see lung. Yes. You should not see any part of the heart. If you're actually seeing heart really high up, it means the heart is displaced high up. Then work out which part of the probe is over the heart, which part of the probe is over the lung. And then start moving the probe more towards the heart. Okay, so in the second instance that you got, you had the heart, you had lung over the superior aspect of the probe, which is the 11 o'clock aspect of the probe. That means that you were actually very superior and you had to move a little bit inferiorly and that immediately gave you good views. Okay, now what's happening? Okay, wait.